look at copying an angle. And so now I'll just make any old angle. There's our angle. And we want to copy it. So I'm going to somewhere else just create a ray that will represent one of the rays of our copied angle. Let's call this point A, and so A prime will be here. Now what we're going to do is we need some more reference points. So I'm just going to take a compass and intersect my two rays. I'm going to go over to A prime and create a similar arc. Now, by doing so, this little point B here gets mapped over here to B prime. Those are equal lengths because I didn't change my compass. And now all I need to know is where is my friend C up here. So I'm going to measure from B to C this time. And I measure it, and then I go down to B prime, and from B prime to C prime, it must be the same angle. And so I lay down my ruler, my straight edge, and I copy it. Now sometimes um, we have angles that already have points on them. So we might have an angle, let's do something obtuse here just for the sake of a different type of angle. All right. Sometimes we might already have the angle A, B, and C. Um, and so that might make things a little more complex for students. They say, well, I have A, B, and C. I don't have to create new ones. Well, it is true that you have them, and uh, if you want, you can use them. So in other words, you can copy exactly C, and then we can copy A, and so on. Um, you can ignore those and do exactly what I did, where you just create two of your own and work from those. So it's kind of by choice here. If you want, if if you want, you can just make an arc, label two new points, measure those, and do the earlier construction, or you can physically just copy the ones that are here. So I am going to do that this time. Here's my length to C. So I mark that. There's my C prime, and then I'm going to reference from C to A, C to A, but that's not enough. I need an intersection, so I'm also going to reference from B to A, B to A, and there they form the intersection, which is known as A prime. And now I can lay this down, and we are in good shape. So those are two different ways to copy an angle.